In your headlines, the COVID-19 travel mandate has been extended and the DDME announced the winner of their 3D modeling competition. Hello Turks and Caicos, welcome to PTV News Watch. Thanks for tuning in on this Wednesday, December 21st, 2022. I'm Khalees Williams with today's newscast. The real news starts now. It's been decided that the TCI's COVID-19 mandate for travel will be extended three months into the new year. Here's what that entails. The Ministry of Health has announced to the public clearance regulations have been extended until March 31st of 2023. The regulations in place require visitors over the age of 18 to be fully vaccinated in order to enter the Turks and Caicos Islands up until the end of March. Here's a list of guidelines so you and your loved ones are in the know. Some may wonder, what does it mean to be fully vaccinated? Fully vaccinated means 14 days after receiving the final dose of any World Health Organization approved vaccine course. For unvaccinated residents returning to the islands, it is still required to undergo quarantine for a period of seven days on arrival and a negative test is required at the end of quarantine for release. Travelers must have received their final dose of an approved vaccine course at least 14 days prior to arrival or entry will be denied. Proof of vaccination is either a digital or paper record which must be presented on arrival. Acceptable forms are digital certificate, certification issued by a doctor or government entity, vaccination cards, a letter signed by a medical professional such as a physician or registered nurse on official, on official letterhead with contact details, or an authorized government entity record or printed record from an electronic vaccination database. In regard to exemption from mandatory vaccination, the individual must either be a minor under the age of 18 or have signed proof from a medical professional explicitly stating that they are medically exempt from taking the vaccine. This proof must be submitted to the Ministry of Health via email on vaccine exemptions at gov.tc, including supporting documentation at least two weeks in advance to give the government ample time to review. Other exceptions to mandatory vaccination are crew members of a cargo aircraft or cargo ship arriving for work and expected to remain for less than 24 hours, crew members of air ambulances, which include any medical personnel on board, and persons who have written permission from the chief medical officer. Lastly, there are absolutely no exemptions for religious reasons. Safe travels, everyone. We'll be right back with more News Watch when we return. Here at People's Television, we're more than just your leading news and entertainment services. We are spreading the gospel. We are breaking barriers. We are preserving the culture. Each one, teach one. We are committed to excellence. We're creating change. We are creating memories. We are the future! I am PTV. I am PTV. I am PTV. I am PTV. We are PTV. We are PTV! We are continuing the legacy. We are PTV. The DDME has just announced the winning TCI high schools who participated in the competition held for World GIS Day last month. We have more in this story. The Department of Disaster Management and Emergencies held their DDME 2022 GIS Day Symposium and 3D Modeling Competition. Different schools from across the TCI came together to show off their zeal for geospatial thinking in the competition. In their statement, the DDME detailed what exactly Geographical Information Systems is, commonly shortened to GIS, which is a computer system that's utilized for capturing, storing, checking, and displaying data related to positions on the Earth's surface, including streets, buildings, and vegetation, allowing people to easily see, analyze, and understand patterns. 
Back in 1854, without the use of a computer, GIS was used to map a disease outbreak in the city of London, and this form of analysis is still used in the present day. This year, DDME partnered up with Fortis TCI to gather 75 people for the celebration and to bring forward positive contributions of professionals and technology. Out of the four schools that participated in the 3D modeling competition, Louise Garland Thomas High School took home first place with 110 points. Following closely behind in second place was the Clement Howell High School with 91.5 points, and in third place was the Marjorie Bazin High School with 85.5 points. The DDME closed off by congratulating the three winning schools for their stellar performance and saying that they hope to see them participate again in future events. Don't move just yet. Coming up next is your weather forecast after this break. your weather forecast for December 22nd, 2022. For the nation's capital, Grand Turk, mostly sunny skies, high 81, low 76, winds southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. For South Caicos, mainly sunny skies, high 81, low 76, winds southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. For North and Middle Caicos, sunny skies, high 81, low 74, Winds southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. For Parrot and Pine Key, mostly sunny skies, high 81, low 75, winds southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And on Providencialis, mostly sunny skies, high 81, low 75, winds southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's your sunrise and sunset. Sunrise, 6.23 a.m., sunset, 5.12 p.m. Now for your high and low tides, high tides, 6.12 a.m., 6.35 p.m., low tide, 12.39 p.m. And that's it for your weather forecast. That's the end of today's edition of News Watch, but don't forget, you can always catch us on our website at www.pcv8tci.com and every weekday right here at 6.30 p.m. I'm Khalees Williams. Stay informed. Thanks for watching. Okay.